Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of GP Plays All the Games, this time with the Fermi Paradox Jam. Um, the Fermi Paradox is a contradiction um, involving like extraterrestrial life, I guess. Uh, basically, on Earth, humans grew and evolved, and we are quite technologically advanced. And we believe that there is at least one in six other planets that are quite like our own. But we haven't met any extraterrestrials or been in contact with them or anything. And that's sort of the contradiction. There's lots of, like, answers that have been proposed uh, for why there isn't life, like it being rare or non-existent, and that no other species were, like, intelligent, and just lots of other things, basically, that could solve this question. Um, this jam was about making anything inspired by the problem. It could be games, digital work, music, star charts or comics, anything basically. So I'm going to be checking out all the things that were entered this jam for about a minute each. Links to the individual things will be in the description so you can check them out further. All my info will also be in the description. And at the end I'll probably have an article of my favorites. Thank you for watching and liking and commenting. Next. We're playing the game WoW. This game is meant to be on a phone and basically you walk your phone around and you try to find a signal that's not interfering with phone towers or anything. That looks like a good signal. And then you can print it out. Erase the numbers that are in a power of two. Alright, so let's print it out. Sounds like my exact printer. <laughs> exactly printing it out. Alright, that one. That one. Okay, five, five, seven. Nine, nine, five, nine, five, nine, yeah, seven, three, five, seven, nine, nine, three, nine, three. Just getting rid of these as it prints. Oh, three as well. It's all of those. Power of two. I feel like this one isn't a good one because of how many I'm erasing. Five, five, nine, seven, 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 nine, seven. Lots of sixes. Nearing the end though. Five, nine, one, five. Oh, I think I should have left the one. Crap. And the four. Ah, oh, I'm messing up now. Nine five seven seven five seven five seven. There we go. Seven three three five. That looks good. And then we can send that off to an expert to decide if we found extraterrestrials. I.e. aliens. Right. Paper is taking, giving me plenty of time to scroll off the screen. Do we win? Faxing signals. Hmm. A very interesting game. It's quite cool that they made it for your phone. You can walk around and find transmissions with your phone. Thank you for sending the signals. Thanks to your great work, we were able to find a signal. There were two signals, but they all originated from Earth. Damn it. That was 65% clean. Darn it. Next. We're playing the fixed star premiere. Calorie... Th calorie... Yeah, sure. Three. Is a temperate garden world. The planet is covered pole to pole with lush foliage. This planet wide garden appears to be the result of extensive planetary modification and genetic engineering. So there's like that. I'm referencing it. The world is almost exclusively populated by autotrophs. Though there are several native heterotrophs, all are in close mutualistic association with plant species. All of them seem to be engineered to pollinate, clean, prune, tend to the thriving plants of Calorie 3. 
Tally three discovered by discovered in Explorer Date Zero by those was quickly recognized as mysterious and an exceptional treasure. There was initially some concern over preserving the world against contamination or harm. However, in light of the events of Hebel's expedition, this is no longer an active concern. The star itself, which would naturally become a red giant once it exhausts its hydrogen, appears to be artificially stabilized via say slaved transmission. Ugh, I click transmission. Like fire or the wheel, the transmat is born with us again and again across the fixed stars. It is infrequent for a civilization which has not yet invented the transmat to be contacted by outside parties because any light speed efforts at communication or travel will inevitably be made irrelevant when either the civilization invents the transmit or the civilization destroys itself. A transmat is a device which instantaneously transmits solid matter across over a distance. Generation. Oh. I think we could scroll. That's kind of interesting. So we've generated something. Huh. Can we go back? No. Hmm. Huh. Interesting twine game. Next. So, well, I feel like I need to comment on the twine game. It's very well written. I'm kind of curious about this plant world. I feel like we're documenting something. It's all in very big terms. Next. We're playing the Lawrence, Lawrence Ed factor. So we kind of put our mouse where we want to go and then fire off. Oh, we're this. For whatever reason, I thought we were aiming towards this, but I guess not. Ooh. Ooh. Is that like using our fuel? Okay, I'm trying to understand what the dials do. Oh, well, there's some plants over here that are like shining almost. Are we receiving transmissions? Probably. We received your transmission. Who else has them? I think we got one from over here as well. This is quite neat seeing the world from so far away. Oh, there's some more happening over here. But we're not going to make it in time. Maybe we are. So it's trying to fly around and collect sig signals and explore, I suppose. It looks pretty cool. Alright, so these two bars, one shows the time it is, um, like, at my home planet. So how many years have passed and such. I kind of want to explore a planet. Can we explore planets? Ah! Uh. Alright, we'll explore this one. Nope, I want to go this way. Nah. Let's explore you. I just want to drift. Let's see. Explore this planet ship. Hmm, maybe it's not a good planet to explore. It's pretty neat, though. Next. We're playing Dot Galaxy. Green is new. Blue is... Jiger? Volume control. Okay. Knob's not functioning. They look like they work. Ooh. Planet name, March. Flat at four, that many years, temperature, completely void of life. Do any of you guys have life? Planet, no life. Oh, wait, this one. Ruled by radio hosts, <laughs> abundant in cigars, and overall vibe is a bit sketchy. Can we take this, like, square? So I'm just clicking on squares because the squares are still the planets. 
I'm not sure what the blue what the blue does again. I don't know what that means. G E I G E R. I googled it. Apparently it's something about radiation waves. Alright. I'll play with these even though it said these didn't work. I'm gonna do them anyway. Ooh, abundant grammar rules ruled by puppets. General vibe point painfully friendly. Okay. It's kind of fun when you get one that actually has life in it. You feel so proud for mating something. Abundant in Bibles, ruled by rappers. I vibe so so. Alright. Any of you guys have life? Nope. This is a pretty neat little console. I like the sort of floating squares and all the stuff that you can interact with. That's nice. Next. We're playing Uncharted, Drake's Equation. Alright, so it's generating a galaxy. Alright, so all these different planets. New species are born in Eurus Mortis. Let's click on that then. Does the Dome of Heaven protect us from ancient evil? How do we interact with you? Natural Ice Age killed them off. Aww. They've reached Bronze Age. Is our world just a dream of the gods? Everyone else is just kind of dead. Oh, new species. Star souls of our ancestors. How do I make you interact? So I guess what we do is we sort of click on them. And clicking on them makes them think about the stars. Ah, uh, but if you click on them too much, uh, bad stuff happens like they die. They have reached industrialization. Is the nature of intelligent life to destroy itself? Does the chant, does the dance of the stars keep our world shining from the medieval age? Ooh, they're sending out signals. Ah, uh, nuclear age is a new species. Is our world flat? My, hmm. not even comment. Ah, uh, did not receive signal. Darn it. I need to keep going. Are we living inside a complete complex simulation? I hope not. Ooh. Is the night sky the home of demons? So just keep interacting with them until we can... Ah, oh, sending signals in space. You can do it. Is it dangerous to communicate with it? It's not. <laughs> Will the sun turn black someday? Communicate with these guys. Communicate with your... Your say majoris. Oh, this is great. Here's our star force. Alien signals arrived. If we're not faithful, the sun stop rising. Yeah. The angels visit us from heaven. From the heavens. Ah, oh, I didn't receive it. This is pretty cool. I kind of like seeing how they're interacting with each other. Uh, what do we do when jargon spaceships arrive? Huh, good question. Is the government ready to be treated by aliens? Nope, I can guarantee you it's not. We have our species deliberately not contacted by aliens. Nope, that's not true either. Will we destroy our world before we find life forms in another galaxy? Hmm. Ah, oh, they're fleeing. Oh no. The stars just holes. This is quite cool. Next. We're playing Empty Space. Apparently it's a very short exploration game. Exploration, yeah. Huh. It's kind of weird because when we move the stars get dark and then they go bright again. It's kind of a weird way of seeing it. I feel like I'm surrounded by walls of stars. I'm not sure which way we should be going. Are there aliens here? see anything around. Nope. Hmm. Maybe this is all they managed to do in time. Or maybe we're supposed to keep looking until we find something. Who knows? It's a mystery. Maybe we're just traveling in the empty space between the stars. Seems like an interesting start. Next. We're playing from his side. It started off saying there's something out there. Something we're not supposed to know about. Alright. 
dark folder, which is the developer. From the side. Alright. WSD, RF, shift and space. Oh, I probably should have hit next. Okay. What does R and F do? R sort of. Ooh. Okay, ping for deposits. Kind of changes where our shield is, and that lets us land on planets and stuff. Let's go to a bigger planet. Well detected. Alright, so we're just like a miner looking for oil on other planets. screen. I don't see any oil. Some mountain areas. All of these uh, areas are also randomly generated, so that's pretty cool. I don't see any oil here. I don't know what they look like anyway, though, but those look like mountains and such. this area. Where are we? Over there. Perfect. Okay. Looks like a pretty interesting game to explore. Let's get closer and then we'll bam. Detect it again. There's lots of oil on these planets. More mountain areas. It looks like a river in here. It's a small planet. Who knows? Next. Playing M2 underscore 1. It said objective achieve extra intelligence about the missing 20 men from the M1 underscore 5 and M1 underscore 15 missions. Fix your broken ship. Ooh, this looks really neat. So here's our ship. There we are. A little astronaut. So just explore around, see what we find. Oh, you can actually walk on this. I was avoiding this. Oh, M2, I just got one. If you are alive on the surface of this hellhole, evacuate. I repeat, evacuate. Three remain of our five-man troop hidden in a cave somewhere. They live. Alien life. Hostile. After they killed one of us and took another, they repeated. They can see us. They can see you. If you need to, take the key card on the corpse of Captain Smith and retreat to the tent. There are weapons, first aid tools in there. Help us. Uh, not promising. <laughs> we have to find some dead guy to steal from his corpse. And then save these people. I'm not even sure where the corpse is or where the tent is. There's like another area. I can't go on that. Nope, we probably need the key card or something. Alright, this is the edge. Just walking around the edges, seeing what there is. There's not a lot built on other planets. I feel like we've built a lot on Earth. I guess there's big areas that nothing is built on Earth, but I feel like we do have a lot. Oh, this must be the dead guy. Okay, we got the key card. Sorry, dead captain. Have to report back on this. It's a very interesting game. Is that not? Uh, I thought maybe that was the key card for that. But I guess not. I'm just kind of walking around aimlessly, looking to find something that will tell me about these uh, people who died. Or to find some aliens who are watching us. Hmm. Next. We're playing all alone now. This game's a bit too big to fit on my screen. Where are they? Maybe we're alone in the galaxy after all. This is like a telescope. 
Ooh. It's like a garage a second there. It's like a look inside people's homes. Ah, an abandoned house. Huh. This is quite interesting. Just little images inside people's homes. So music to it. Not sure what we're doing though. Navigating. Alright. Is it because there's no one in these houses? Hmm. They look like houses that are for sale. It's all nice and well presented. And clean. And empty. If we just turn to like here, oh, it's thinking. Maybe I broke it because I did too many. All right, there we go. I'm not sure if I'm looking for something or if I'm just too explored. Listen to the the background noise. It's a very interesting little game, though. It's kind of creepy feeling because of the music. Next. We're playing Wiggle World. Evolving intelligent life is hard. So there's like all of these dots happening. Ooh, this is a browser based game. I'm not quite sure how to interact though. Mm, clicking doesn't seem to be it. I'm kind of use arrow keys. I'm not sure if we're just supposed to watch it. Hmm. Well, there's no description or anything. Occasionally it makes really pretty colors that sort of go out really far, but I'm not quite sure if it's my doing or if this is just stuff happening and I'm supposed to just watch. Hmm. I don't seem to be interacting with it no matter what I do. Evolving intelligent life is hard. This is interesting. I don't know if it's if I'm playing it correctly. Hmm. Next. <laughs> 